Hey, what's happening, hosers? Okay, I got, uh, this is actually my second time that we replaced our Furion. And uh, what do we got here? We got a, a FMCM 15 SS. So uh, within a year, the warranty actually ran out on this thing. Uh, we blew a fuse and a couple other things. So they just ended up replacing the whole thing. We've had it in for about a year now. And the thing blew again just by opening up the door, shutting it, gone. So I've torn into this thing because they want uh, 400 bucks to to actually get a replacement for this. But uh, that's not going to happen. Um, Furion said that the parts that they that broke are non-serviceable so you have to buy a whole new one yeah that's uh, quite convenient so anyway um, basically what we got here I'm gonna set you all down here and uh, move out of the light so basically with this here's your front kind of grill piece with the things on top there's some tabs here and then up on top is where the screws go in that just goes up like this so when you take this down you want to pull the top down like this you cannot pull it straight out or up or nothing so there's two tabs that go about right here and one over there the thing pulls down you can take the whole thing off and get to what you need to check out um, after that piece comes off, there's another little metal thing, kind of looks like this, off on this side. That is your fuse right there. So that would be the first thing to check. Mine was blown. So we went, I went up to Home Depot and actually got two of them for $3.50. They're Hey, welcome back everybody. So I got an update if you were with us last week when I released a little video. Right now my microwave is working. Uh, it didn't and it didn't several times. It basically busted uh, uh, several fuses up. Um, so originally I had these. These are the ceramic uh, microwave fuses that I said give that a try. Um, I busted up quite a few of them and then I just went back to Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever and I got these uh, they are the what I found out is the original glass 20 amp fuse um, I've had these in now and we have used it pretty much every day um, several times a day and everything is good I mean that's that's as simple as you can get guys just popping that thing out put a new one in uh, since I kind of had that all taken apart and what happened last time is I got into the door switches uh, took that took that thing off there and this is how it sets behind here you take that straight off there's where your door little latch hops into and right there so if you turn this around those are going to be your door switches. There's three of them on this model. Don't know which one is bad until you test them out. Now, that's facing forward. If you look right in there, there's a little tab. And it makes a little click. There's also one down there. And then that white piece that will have another click. That's when the door goes in right there. That's the little click you hear. I've been told that if they do not make the click, that's what part number you need to grab from an appliance store, Home Depot, Lowe's. They do not have that. Uh, you actually have to go to a small appliance store and get that. Um, get that replaced. If it clicks, uh, it's supposed to be good. So, uh, what I did is I already took all this apart because I wanted to find out. So we got all the wiring right here. 
this is the front piece that goes on there's just two little tabs on the bottom and then a screw up on top that will go right there so it just fits in kind of slides up and fits that is the back that you're gonna to have to connect everything to the wires in here for me were not long enough to just you know have it dangling or whatever so I took pictures disconnected everything um, and then when I it, it's they kind of go back in one spot the, the only the only kind of tricky one is going to be this one here where they got the red jumper to the red and white one goes on the bottom one goes on the top in between the the two black wires that have this one so that's the only one that is uh, that can probably screw you up going top to bottom bottom to top other than that they kind of fit back together pretty good but I would still take pictures or do a little diagram uh, you know like I said it's a $400 uh, replacement so why screw it up now when all you have to do is connect a few wires to it anyway guys uh, hopefully that kind of helps you out if nothing else at least you kind of see the inside it you do not have to take this thing off I did the last time to actually check it and if you do need to take it off you can see this bolt right here there's another one behind all this venting right here that runs up to the top right down through there you take that bolt off and you take that other bolt off which you can get to right through there unscrew those pull those bad boys out and this whole thing drops so underneath there are a couple catches underneath here just just like how that thing is it has like kind of one of those on it uh, super easy to take down super quick two bolts the front drops um, the only thing that you got to do is lift it up a little bit to take it off that back track and then you also have your plug-in up here um, unplug that it goes through a hole easy hey until next time throw the bones